In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove enterprise enrollment on a Chromebook. So, in case you've been trying to remove this enterprise enrollment on your Chromebook or Chrome OS, here's how we can do it. So, before we start, make sure to remove any flash drives or memory devices you may have on your Chromebook, okay? That's very important. Now, once you do this, let's proceed to the first step. So, the first step is to press Escape plus refresh plus power and in case you're wondering where the refresh key is it's this key over here so as you can see the fourth key from the left okay so escape and then refresh and then the power button which is all the way to the right okay so once you do this you then have to press ctrl and d and then once you've done this you then want to press space the space bar or on some chromebooks it may be enter the enter key okay so this one is space bar and the enter key you know which one it is now, just try either one, and one will be correct um, almost definitely, okay? Now, what you then want to do is note that this will put you in developer mode, okay? So, first, let your Chromebook load up everything, and don't turn it off yourself. Don't do it, it could cause some damage, okay? Your Chromebook will then restart, and then start integrating or initiating dev mode, which is developer mode, and that will put you off the domain, okay? Now, what's very important here is that if your Chromebook says that dev mode has been blocked by the admin, you must follow these steps. First, if you see that dev mode is blocked, do not turn off your Chromebook, okay? So while things are loading, anytime in this process, don't turn it off. It will take you back to register your Chromebook again, and do not go to this process. Instead, try pressing escape, refresh, and power again. So don't turn the Chromebook off. And if, if this happens, just press escape, refresh, and power again. Then press Ctrl and D, and then press space, or enter, as I said earlier, and repeat the process continually until eventually it works and your issue has been fixed. Now, what you also have to note over here is that your Chromebook will restart again and hopefully load everything and boot you into dev mode. This means that you will no longer be registered under that school's domain and you can get full functionality out of your Chromebook, okay? So that's pretty much it. Be careful, as I said, to not turn off your Chromebook while it's turning up and loading up dev mode. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.